Yesterday I published the red chain block and it was block one of two and we did this and this one go this is the second block it's called the red star block so we had the chain block yesterday and the star block today and we're going to put these two blocks together into a quilt here is the diagram it's also a 15 inch block now this block has half square triangles and it has quarter square triangles as usual I'm going to show you the rotary cutting so anyone can make the block and then you can decide if you want to do the alternatives to make the half square triangles and or the quarter square triangles. If you haven't seen the first block, search for 0228 red chain block and that will get you there. If you've been watching my block a day videos, you might have noticed that I number each one. So today is March 1st when this video is released. So the number is 0301 for March 1st. And that's how they go. Okay, so let's look at the patches we have for this block. It's a three inch finished square and we'll cut squares at three and a half inches. And we'll need five patches for the background fabric. If you have your AccuQuilt six inch cube, you can cut all three of these patches. The second patch is a three inch finished half square triangle. We'll cut three and seven eighth inch squares and cut each one in half diagonally once. We'll need 12 patches for the background. So that means you cut six squares, cut them in half, and you'll have 12 pieces. For the, the darker fabric, you'll need eight patches. So you'll need four squares, cut in half. And then the medium to light fabric, you'll need four patches. So you will need to cut two squares and cut each of those in half. And finally, patch C is a three inch finished quarter square triangle. We'll cut squares at four and a quarter inch and then cut them in half diagonally twice. So we'll get four pieces from one square. The background you'll need 16 patches. So that means you need four squares and cut those. For the darker fabric, you need eight patches. So you cut two squares and cut those in half. Same thing for this other fabric here. Here, this is exactly the same as I have on the first one, the Blue Ridge free pattern download. I found this on Pinterest, and this happens to be a free download from Wyndham Fabrics. But this version I'm showing you here is 77 inches by 93 inches finished. On the second page, you have your coloring diagram if you want to color some some patches. Here is the fabric requirements you'll need to make this quilt on the front, the 77 by 93. Here is a code you can scan to download the pattern, the free pattern from Wyndham Fabrics. And this pattern makes a 91 by 91 inch quilt. This, the link to this pattern will also be in the description below the video along with the link to get these two patterns. Now let's, let's look at the fabric I've chosen for this block. And again, mine are all shades of red, reproduction fabrics. The pattern you'll download from Wyndham Fabrics is done in blues and they're all Civil War fabrics as well. But you can use anything you want. Here is patch A, the three inch finished square. Here's patch B, the half square triangles. And here's patch C, the quarter square triangles. I'm using the method of just rotary cutting and you will be piecing these the same way if you have cut with the AccuQuilt because the AccuQuilt gives you the same pieces as if you were rotary cutting. The difference is the, the rotary cutting, you're going to have points on all these triangles. The AccuQuilt will cut off the points so you don't have to cut them off later. But I'm going to sew the half square triangles now and the quarter square triangles and then lay out the quilt block. I wanted to show you a few things about piecing. If you are going to chain piece, these are the quarter square triangles here. And if you're chain piecing these, put 
one of the fabrics at the bottom and always put the same fabric at the bottom. So in my case, I always put the dark fabric at the bottom and the background fabric at the top. If you don't do that and you mix these up and you might, they might, won't come out right. So when I open this up and you put it together, then you have your alternating blocks. Sometimes they'll be exactly the same and you don't want that, so you'll have to rip them out. Just remember to always put them into the machine the same way. In this case, I've got the dark on the bottom, the light on the top, and the, the triangles are always facing this way as I put them into the machine. Then just press open, and then you'll sew these together like this to make your quarter square triangle. And on the quarter square triangles and the half square triangles, you'll have these little nubs. If you did rotary cutting, you'll have these little nubs at the end. Just trim those off because you don't want those when you're piecing. I just trim them like this. So I just use my scissors and trim them off like that. Here is the block all laid out. And all the little nubs have been cut off. Then here's your chance to check to make sure the block is laid out. And this is a five by five grid, meaning there's five blocks across and five blocks down. So it's going to be a little more complicated to, to piece it, but I like to do chain piecing a block and where you chain piece the rows and when you finish, you have everything all together. So in the next segment, it's about four minutes long. It's an excerpt from another video I did about chain piecing these blocks. If you want to watch that of how to chain piece the blocks. At the time I made that video, I was still pressing my seams to one side. So ignore that part. I always press my seams open. But the method is still the same way, just the pressing is different. And what we're going to do is take this, these two pieces, and stitch them together. And we're not going to stop. We're going to leave the threads together and go and do this one. And do this one. And do this one. Now if you want to, you can put some pins here just to keep yourself organized. Because a lot of times when they go from the board to your sewing machine, they get confused. Now we don't get confused, but the fabric gets confused. So I'm going to go and chain piece these all the way down. Here we have our chain piecing we just did. And I'm just going to lay it back on this board. And open these up. Now we're going to take this next one and flip it over and line up the edges. Now take this to the machine and we're going to chain stitch all these together. And here are the three columns put together. We're going to open these up. And then we're going to flip these over this side. Now we'll go stitch this. Now we have our vertical rows stitched together. Open them up and you can see so here's your chance to check your design. At this point now, we're going to flip this over and sew these two together, these together. If you want to open your seams and press them, then open and press all of them open. So now I'm going to sew, I'm going to pick this one up, and I'm going to use my method where I just fold it over and stitch it, and then I press it afterwards. Here's what it looks like with the first horizontal row stitched. And next, I'll flip this over and stitch this row. Then when that's done, I'll flip this over and stitch this row. That's how you do chain piecing for a block. Mm -hmm.